the 201. Um, today I'm going to upgrade the RAM in my iBook G3, which if you saw last episode, I unboxed, which was, last episode was, like, 20 minutes ago. So, first, this is so what you're going to do first to upgrade your RAM is first take out the battery, which can be done, just like this thing, this little thing, like that. Because they toy. Uh, I think that's better for the charge. Oh, it's made this thing. Because I've never actually taken out the battery the first time. So, once the battery's out, the computer's actually still pretty heavy. Um, open it up. And here, let me just break over the camera. And just undo those latches. Holding the keyboard down. Kind of like my compact laptop, actually. You saw videos about that. So your keyboard will come up. Actually, there's instructions on how to take out the airport card and how to take out the RAM. Which I will be having to remove the airport card to do this. Uh, actually, I previously removed this because I was having troubles with it. So, invisible little plastic tab. Very simple. Just wiggle it back and forth. You don't want to yank it. Okay, so there. I will be upgrading the RAM right now. It has 128 megabytes of integrated. Just give me a sec while I yank out the antenna. <laughs> I can't do this with a camera on hand. So, just gonna lightly just pull. There we go. Set your beautiful little airport card aside. You'll be faced with two screws right there. That's all you have to undo. I already undid them because the video will take like a ton of time to undo all this stuff. Actually, this is from a really old laptop. See, my, my MacBook was actually running off no RAM. It has 128 megs integrated, and this is 128 megs. Um, this was just what I had lying around. So, just insert it at a slant. Push a bit. Makes a bit of noise, um, unwanted noise perhaps. So, what you're going to do, I'm actually going to screw it back in the tray. It was really, really hard to get up when I was first getting ready for this before the video. At this point, you would be able to run your iBook. I don't recommend it though, because you're still inside the iBook. I like to call mine a MacBook, because really, in reality, it is a MacBook. It's a Mac, and it is a notebook. Form factor. I will put these screws in. It's really freaking dirty under my keyboard. Oh, great. The screw isn't going in. This is why I don't like taking apart my devices, but it's going to improve your performance, you know. In the name of performance, do anything. Pretty much. Except for the computer. That went under the computers. Give me a jig. I'll be right back when I get this thing screwed. Hey guys, I finally got those screws in and <coughs> I reinstalled the airport card and put those tabs under. So now, uh, now just stick the keyboard in. Pretty simple. And press the power button. Hey guys, I just had a freaking little heart attack because my iBook wasn't turning on. No, duh! The battery's not in. It's because I'm a very impatient little fellow. So, just put the iBook on the bed and just stick in the battery. Oops, uh, I forgot to. I'm not sure if you just push on it or what, I doubt it. So. To walk and you know what? I have no idea how to do this. Wait, wait, I'm gonna push it and then turn this thing. See what you can. Uh, I think, oops, I think that's how it's supposed to go in. Anyways, yeah, I know it's missing a lot of the rubber feet, actually, all of them except one on the battery. I think. The fella that had this before me, actually, I think 
he had more RAM in it and took it out because it's missing a couple of screws. Alright, that's not good part. I don't think my optical drive works, which kind of bugs me, but... Oh, well. Uh, well, I know it doesn't work, because the guy said it doesn't work. Um, there are quite a couple ports on the side there. You know, a little vent. The trackpad clicking button is freaking huge. Probably a lot bigger than it should be, actually. Um, I have not figured out how to connect to the internet yet. Because I know that little about Max. I bet you if you guys saw it like this, you'd probably think it was a MacBook. There's a few giveaways, but it looked pretty identical. <coughs> you might just want to skip about 10 seconds here and see if the MacBook is booted up. I think I lost one of the screws. Because I didn't put one in. Oh well. Keyboard isn't in all the way. I don't really care. As long as it works, I'm fine. Welcome to Macintosh. I'm just loading all this crap that it probably doesn't need to load. So this had 128 megs of integrated onto the motherboard. Then I added a stick of 128, I believe it is. I haven't figured out how to change my background either. Yeah, I'm that not geared towards Max. So now if I just click, oops, about this Mac. I have. 256 megabytes of RAM with a 600 uh, megahertz power PC. Very nice laptop. I love it. So eventually, in like probably like five more years, when I sell it, I will include. Well, I'm gonna upgrade it to a 160 and a combo drive eventually, and probably the original AC adapter, not a replacement. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. <gasps>